If you've purchased a WRX and intend to use it as your everyday driver, but you still wanna have some fun, modify it, and get the most out of your vehicle, then this video is for you. Welcome back to my channel, guys. This is my top five modifications for your Subaru WRX. As always, my name is Lockie, and if you're enjoying the content, please consider subscribing. If you're new here, like the video, and let me know in the comment section below, what is your favorite modification? Let's get started. Now let's be real here. You probably bought a WRX or STI because you love the Subi Rumble. And I don't blame you because that was one of the reasons why I bought the WRX. So the most obvious and first choice for modifications is an exhaust system. Now opening up the exhaust system will obviously increase the loudness of the vehicle and you can also increase the performance of the vehicle. So I'm gonna elaborate on a few choices that you have if you purchase this car as a daily driver. Now, I'm gonna make this pretty simple for you. You've pretty much got two choices. To go down the non-performance route or the performance route. Either a cat-back exhaust or a turbo-back exhaust. And it's pretty simple. A cat-back exhaust will allow you to get more loudness out of your vehicle, but you do not require a tune. As a daily driver, you might not want to get your car tuned, so I would suggest going down the cat-back exhaust route. If you do want to go turbo-back exhaust route, not only will your car also be louder than with a cat-back exhaust, but you will also see some pretty good performance gains uh, out of a three inch dump pipe. Now I do use my car as a daily driver and I'm gonna show you some exhaust clips in just a second. But first I figured I'd show you everything on my exhaust all the way back to the mufflers so you can get a pretty good idea of what your WRX can sound like with my setup. Now under the hood here, you can see that we still have a reasonably stock setup. However, you may notice that we do have a turbo back exhaust. So we have changed the exhaust system right from the turbo all the way back. And I have gone with a three inch catless hyperflow dump pipe. I have also installed over my turbo here an aftermarket turbo blanket as this does provide better heat protection with the intercooler in here. So I'll jack the car up and I'll show you what it looks like from underneath. So as we come down from the dump pipe here, we can see that I have a custom welded mid pipe. This is also three inch and that links up with what we would call the start of the cat back exhaust system. As we keep coming further back, we have the cat back exhaust and this does contain a resonator right there. As we finish through here to the rear of the car, we come to some quad tips with some tube-like mufflers here. Now this particular catback system is actually from a no-name brand. Uh, however, if I was to compare it to an exhaust that everyone might know, uh, it is more similar to the NVIDIA Q300 catback. So, you've just bought a brand new exhaust. You are feeling over the moon. You're an official Subi bro with that Subi rumble. But you can't hear yourself think. You can't even hear the music on the way to work. And that is because this sound system that Subaru has produced is absolute trash. You should upgrade the sound system. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do. Obviously, you can do as little as you want or as much as you want. You could spend thousands and thousands of dollars, but 
Your boy here is here to help you out, save you some dollars and get the best bang for your buck for your sound system. Now, Subarus have a pretty simple design. We have tweeters in the front. We have speakers in the front as well as speakers in the rear in the same position, a head unit, and we also have an amplifier under the back seat there. Now, being honest here, these speakers are actually pretty decent. We get some good tweeters, the mid-range is great, the bass does top out and crackle right at the top end there. However, this is vastly improved with a new head unit. This is a double DIN Apple CarPlay and Android Auto head unit all in one. It is amazing. Honestly, it really improves the quality of the sound. It is much crisper. The bass is much deeper and you can play around with the equalizer settings. And as a daily driver, I cannot recommend a head unit enough. Now boys, another advantage with having a decent double DIN head unit is that I can actually plug my phone in. I can just place it there. I have wired it up from underneath there. I plug it in like so, and I can connect to Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, whatever tickles your fancy, and you can use navigation, you can use Spotify, whatever is necessary, and most importantly, it's completely legal, especially if you're in Australia. Now, if I was to upgrade the sound system just a little bit more, I possibly would go with a bigger subwoofer, an external subwoofer, chuck that under the seat, or you know, tidy it up and put it in the back somewhere, However, this car does rattle quite a bit when you turn the bass up, so it's probably not necessary anyhow. You'll honestly get so much enjoyment just out of a head unit alone, uh, and they're just very versatile, and you get some great sound out of it. So I would 100% recommend you upgrade your head unit to a double DIN Apple CarPlay or Android Auto unit that gets some decent sound. Now doing a modification to your car, doesn't mean you necessarily have to spend a whole lot of money. Some of the best modifications I've done to my car and that I get the most enjoyment out of have been very simple, very, very simple. So for this one, we're gonna turn the lights off and I'm gonna show you what I've been really getting some enjoyment out of as a daily driver. We'll start off with the most expensive of the lighting mods and that is the headlights. Now these are from CT Auto Parts. They are C style headlights uh, that can act as a DRL uh, and they also are able to include the factory HID headlight in there which is great. The C style headlight definitely modernizes the WRX as this is about 10 years old and honestly it's just a clean look. Another modification that has really been nice is these rear reflectors. I have replaced these with LEDs. I have also replaced the number plate lights with LEDs. All we have is a vinyl overlay, so we just got that red vinyl on there. I much prefer it over the crystal clear tail light that we had before. I really wanted to make a point of showing you guys the footwell lights I have installed. These are very cheap. I bought them from eBay for about 20 bucks. It is so nice at nighttime when you're cruising down the highway. You've got the red on the dash, you've got the red up here. I've got my gauges over there and I've got some awesome purple footwell lighting. It's just a very nice vibe. So for those of you who have been watching the channel, uh, in my few recent videos, I have just installed a short shifter. I got the one from Cartboy, and let me tell you right now, I wish I had done it sooner. It is short throw, it is very precise, it honestly makes shifting feel so much better. And with the short shifter combined with this shift knob from Likewise, this is the Neil Diamond in red. Honestly, I get real nice grip on my palm, and just shifting feels super nice. It's something that you touch every day. It's something that you feel every day when you're driving your car. And it's such an easy one and such a great modification to do because it completely changes the dynamic of your vehicle. And also it personalizes your vehicle because uh, just, just look how cool that looks. You know, we've got the chain. I've got the carbon fiber around here. I've got the WRX. It's just, just your nice little personalized area. And, um, you know, 
the shifting is just a bonus. Now I'm gonna class wheels and tires and suspension all as one and we're gonna call it fitment because let's be real here, if you have one without the other, it just looks a bit weird. And honestly, getting some decent fitment, well, do I really need to explain why you should get some decent fitment? I mean, just look at that. Seriously. Just look at that. Having a nice fitment setup on the WRX is honestly going to give you a unique look. Something that you're going to enjoy looking at every time you park your car and you walk away. And you know, it's one of my favorite modifications. And I think all car enthusiasts can vouch for this one is wheels and tires, suspension, all the fitment stuff. It's just a must if you're modifying your car. Now, you don't have to go crazy on the wheel fitment. You don't have to go super low. You don't have to go super wide. You can do whatever you feel like. Now, I have made an in-depth video about wheel fitment. And if you go back to my channel, I explain all the correct sizes for this vehicle. So, just to quickly sum it up for you guys, my wheel fitment is 18 by 10 plus 38 offset. And I currently have a 245 40 tire. I did have a 265 35 tire and that also was able to fit pretty well with my coilover suspension. If you are looking at wanting to go a little bit more in depth with the wheel and tire fitment, then have a look at this video right here on my channel and uh, that should explain and give you the basics so you can decide what fitment you would like for your WRX. All right guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you have any questions, please give me a comment down below. I'll be able to answer them as best as I can and enjoy your modifications on your WRX. As always, thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like the video, chuck me a comment down below. What is your favorite modification? And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.